Nuno Tavares confirmed Arsenal transfer. As The Rock would say, finally Arsenal are about to sign some players. As Arsenal agreed a deal with Portuguese Benfica left back Nuno Tavares. But will Tavares be joined by one Albert Sambilo Conga? And could Renato Sanchez be on his way to the Emirates Stadium? Join me today in the latest episode of The Transfers FC. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Babs14 and welcome back to your boy's channel. And the smile on the face tells you all you need to know. It's official transfer day. As per, I would massively appreciate if you guys can go down there and smash a like on the video. And while you're down there, please do consider subscribing to your boy's channel as well. Because we are on that road to 50,000 subscribers. And then after that, dare I say, 100k my guys. But let's get straight into Nuno Tavares and his confirmed after transfer. When it comes to official transfers is three famous words that you guys know about and they are here we go and the man himself Fabrizio Romano confirmed it Nuno Tavares to Arsenal done deal here we go confirmed paperwork to be signed today between Arsenal and Benfica board for around 8 million euros plus add-ons interest started during Guendouzi talks with Benfica Tavares was a part of a potential swap deal but Mateo wants to join Olympic Marseille instead let's put Mateo to one side let's talk about Nuno Tavares when Fabrizio says here we go you know this deal is confirmed it is Comino Gado Oficial, this is happening and Tavares is joining Arsenal. He also says that Arsenal are set to complete a transfer of Tavares and Albert Sambi Lukonga in the next few days. Confirmed and here we go. And in terms of Lukonga, he will join for 17.5 million euros plus add-ons. Now final details on future sale percentage. So not only do we have one here we go, we got two big man here we goes in one day. Nuno Tavares and Albert Sambi Lukonga. Even Charles Waters confirmed that Arsenal have now agreed a deal with Benfica for Nuno Tavares a 7 million pound fee which could rise to 8.5 the medical is pending few things need to be sorted out in terms of travel slash covid rules so it's not set out in stone yet where the medical will take place the fee is agreed and for 7 million pounds I'll tell you what as a backup left back your boy is not going to complain I know a lot of Arsenal fans have been speaking about this guy's personal issues when it comes to you know the video that your boy doesn't want to speak about and also some of the controversial things that he has said in the media but most importantly Importantly, we need to understand this is going to be the backup to KT, the backup dancer to Kieran Tierney. And so for £7 million for a 21-year-old, massive upturn potential sell-on value as well, your boy's taking it with no complaints. James Bench has confirmed that the Tavares deal is a little ahead of Lukonga right now, with both moving towards completion for Arsenal. Young Tyler with upside available at good fees, Tavares around £6.5 million. Very much the mold of signing Edu and Arteta are prioritising this summer. It's young players that have long-term value with short-term gain and ultimately sell-on value as well and in Nuno Tavares we are going to do a video very soon on your boys channel as we go into the stats the details the type of player and all that malarkey. even the main man himself Chris Wheatley has confirmed that Sambi Lukonga and Nuno Tavares are set for Arsenal moves so not only are we getting here we go we're getting Chris Wheatley co-signs as well it is official it is happening these two players are joining off I keep saying it because your boy has been waiting for so long and these are just the backup players we already know that Tavares is going to be the backup to Kieran Tierney and in Albert Sambi Lukonga again I think he's going to be a rotational option most likely for Thomas Partey and so this is how excited your boys get after also signing backup players imagine when we do our real deals for like the Ben White the likes of Eve Basum potentially maybe even a James Madison it's going to be beautiful scenes and I look forward to it reports in Belgium on the latest on Lukonga the player has returned from his holiday but may not appear for squad photos as a deal is very close talks are ongoing to decide the resale percent Percentage. Sources confirm the figure being processed by Arsenal is realistic and a deal is now imminent. I can't lie to you guys, I think which just a little bit of Albert Sambi Lukonga in terms of compilations, he has slightly excited your boy. The report also claims that Arsenal will pay a fixed fee of £15 million plus 3.4 in add-ons and that Lukonga will sign a five-year contract with the Gunners. Here we go, part two, five-year contract, Albert Sambi Lukonga, get it signed, get it sealed and get it delivered. But what are your own thoughts on Arsenal's first two signings of the window? Are you happy with the transfers of Nuno Tavares and Albert Sambi Lukonga? And what are your expectations of these players? 
and also most importantly, who else do you want to see Arsenal sign next? Moving on, let's talk about Renato Sanchez and his transfer to Arsenal. Renato Sanchez, the Portuguese ball he plays for a club in Lille who Arsenal love to sign players from. And this rumour hasn't come from any media sources or any reporters, it's come from the player himself. Because it seems like Mr. Gabriel Magalhães, our last signing from Lille, is turned into an agent. As Renato Sanchez posted a photo on his Instagram and Gabriel Magalhães commented, come to Arsenal. Renato Sanchez reply, I'm waiting for your invitation. Now they could just be playing with our emotions. But then again, after signing Albert Samuel Lukonga, Arsenal do want to sign a more established central midfielder as well. And Renato Sanchez entering his peak years, he's a baller, he's a central midfielder, he fits all the categories. And most importantly, he plays for a club in Lille where Nicolas Pepe and Gabriel Magalhães both used to play the connection Sean is already there. And only a few days ago, the 90 men revealed exclusive that Arsenal had asked Lille to be kept informed about developments surrounding the future of midfielder Renato Sanchez and that Arsenal had made contact with Lille via intermediaries to inquire about his situation and potential price tag. Again, I'm not quite sure how reliable 90 men are, but when the player is saying, I'm waiting for your invitation, the question now is, are Arsenal going to send out that invitation and bring Sanchez to Arsenal? My personal thoughts on the player, I do think he's a bit of a ball, having watched him playing the Euros, he really did thrive for Portugal. His ability to drive past players, to progress the ball, to play progressive, incisive passes, he's a baller and don't get it twisted. My only real concern with the player is his overall injury record and having looked into it, he has missed a lot of games over the past three or four years via muscle injuries. But what are your own thoughts on the Portuguese central midfielder and is Renato Sanchez a player that you want to see Arsenal sign this summer? Let's have a discussion down below in the comments. Talking about central midfielders, we've got reports out of Italy claiming that Sassuolo won 40 million euros paid in cash, which Arsenal and Dortmund are ready to offer for Manuel Locatelli. Juve are only offering a player plus cash deal, which Sassuolo won't accept. Locatelli isn't against moving abroad. Juve must move quickly to find a solution. This has been confirmed by quite a few reliable people that Arsenal have interest and have inquired about Manuel Locatelli. Even the reliable Athletic have already said that Arsenal are among the clubs to have inquired of the Sassuolo playmaker Manuel Locatelli. The Athletic understands however is that the player is more likely to move to Juventus but the question is if Juve can't pay the money Arsenal can pay the money then why wouldn't Locatelli come to Arsenal? And just like with Renato Sanchez having watched Locatelli play at the Euros for Italy, thrive at the Euros for Italy, to replace Granit Xhaka I think Locatelli could be one of the more perfect options and the fact that reliable Italian journalists like Gianluca Di Marzio have already confirmed that Arsenal have contacted the representatives and the club's Sassuolo for Manuel Locatelli. Keep your eye on this transfer and don't be surprised if something came out of nowhere and hit us with an RKO. But just like with Renato Sanchez, what are your thoughts on Manuel Locatelli and is he a player that you want to see also sign? Let's discuss down below. William Saliba has turned down the idea of a loan to Ren according to Quest France. And of course, William Saliba's agent was at Highbury House yesterday discussing in a meeting with Edu Gasper over the future of Saliba. Whether he stays, whether he gets loaned out or gets sold, no one knows right now but the fact that Saliba has turned down the opportunity there tells me he wants to stay at Arsenal but as long as he's offered some level of opportunities and you know what in terms of Mikel Arteta I don't know why you wouldn't give this guy a chance I'm not saying start him 38 games out of 38 but give him an opportunity in the Premier League in certain games you've even got the Carabao Cup you've even got the FA Cup just give him a chance in the Arsenal shirt that is all Arsenal fans ask for but what do you guys think is going to happen with the future of William Saliba, is he going to stay, is he going to go on loan or dare I even say, is he going to leave Arsenal Football Club permanently and altogether. And moving on, let's discuss the other Arsenal news today. First things first, with it being June the 30th of today, a lot of players have officially left Arsenal. As Chris Wheatley has confirmed, there are several deals expiring at Arsenal today as Meza Ozil's contract comes to an end. David Luiz is officially a free agent in talks with Marseille with Martin Odegaard, Danny Ceballos and Matt Ryan to return to their parent club. Clubs. David Luiz, Martin Odegaard, Danny Ceballos, Matt Ryan, that is a lot of wages that Arsenal have just got off the wage book and so if Arsenal wants to make a big sign this summer, in NBA terms we now have the salary capacity to give these players a lucrative contract. But one player who has still got a contract but could still be leaving Arsenal is Eddie Nketiah but today he has posted a encrypted post on his Instagram story with a photo of him in an Arsenal shirt celebrating and a couple timer emojis. 
Now, I do not have a clue what man like Eddie is trying to say here, but as we discussed with Chris Wheatley on his channel, Arsenal want to sell Eddie Nketi this summer, and it is not out of bounds where Arsenal do a swap deal with Brighton where we get Eve Basuma and give them a bit of money. But in Eddie Nketi, what do you guys think is the value of this player? And if we are to sell him, how much money would you guys be looking to get in return? As George Bird points out here, Balogun's shirt and the first team dressing room at the Emirates Stadium saw essentially confirmation that he's been promoted to the first team. He should get a lower squad number soon he has temporarily been assigned to number 40 for the season and also if you look at that photo you see a certain number four William Saliba shirt as well in terms of Balogun I know that Arsenal have looked in the strikers with Isak one that Arsenal hold interest in but we do have a potential baller in the making the following Balogun and I really do hope he is given a chance a fair chance that season by Mikel Arteta if it came down to you what role would you give young Balogun is it a first team role straight away is it a more squad rotational role or would you even go to the loaning him out to a Premier League team where he gets more consistent first team minutes. But that is the video over there. If you have enjoyed, smash a like on it. And while you are down there, please do subscribe to your boy's channel as well. If you want to follow your boy on them social medias, the links will be down below in the description. Much appreciation. But that was the latest episode of the Transfers FC. And finally, oh finally, have we got the famous three words of here we go: Samuel Conga and Nuno Tavares. I will see you guys soon in a bit.